welcome to our lesson on writing one number as a percentage of another. We need to understand that the word percent means parts per hundred. So parts divided by 100. So we're going to express 120 centimetres as a percentage of two metres. We need both measurements to be in the same unit and we know that one metre is equal to 100 centimetres. So two metres will be equal to 200 centimetres. We have 120 centimetres out of the 200 centimetres. And we need to write this as a fraction of the 100. We can divide the 200 by 2 to make 100. And to keep the fraction equivalent, we're going to do the same to the numerator. So 120 divided by 2 is 60. So this is 60%. So 120 centimetres is 60% of two meters. Okay, let's try question B. We need to write them both with the same unit and we know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So three kilometers will equal 3,000 meters. At the fraction, this is 600 meters out of 3,000 and we need to write it as a fraction of a 100 and we can do this by going via 1,000. 3,000 divided by 3 makes 1,000 and 1,000 divided by 10 will make 100. So we do the same to the numerator. We divide by 3 and then we divide by 10. This will keep the fractions equivalent. So 600 divided by 3 is 200. 200 divided by 10 is 20. So it is 20%. 600 meters is 20% of 3 kilometers. Okay, the question C. In a local election, there were 8,000 registered voters. So out of the 8,000 registered voters, 3,200 voted. So 3,200. And this is the fraction. You need the fraction over 100. Well, we can go via 1,000. By dividing 8,000 by 8, and then dividing 1,000 by 10. So we do the same to the numerator. We divide by 8 and then we divide by 10. So 3,200 divided by 8 is 400. Divide that by 10 and we get 40. So that is 40%. So 40% of the population voted. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and write 15 seconds as a percentage of one minute and 75 pence as a percentage of one pound fifty by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, we need to write them both with the same unit. So we can write one minute as 60 seconds. So we have 15 seconds out of 60. We need to write this as a fraction of 100. So we can go via 10 by dividing the 60 by 6 and then multiplying by 10. We can do the same to the numerator. We divide by 6 and then we multiply by 10. 15 divided by 6 is 2.5 and 2.5 times 10 is 25. So we have 25%. So 
So 15 seconds is 25% of one minute. Okay, let's try question eight. We need to write them both with the same unit. So we can write one pound fifty to pence because one pound is equal to one hundred pence. So one pound fifty will equal one hundred and fifty pence. So we have seventy five pence out of one hundred and fifty. At the fraction of a one hundred, we can go via fifty. By dividing 150 by 3 and then multiplying with 50 by 2. 75 divided by 3 and then that multiplied by 2. 75 divided by 3 is 25 and 25 times 2 is 50. So we have 50%. So 75 pence is 50% of one pound fifty. And finally, Pauline got 16 out of 25 for an assignment, and Rose got 13 out of 20. Which girl got the high percentage? Do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video? And you can resume it when you're ready. So we have Pauline got 16 out of 25. So we can write this as a fraction. 16 out of 25. We need to write it as a fraction of a 100 by multiplying with 25 by 4. We can do the same to the numerator and we have 64. So Pauline got 64%. And Rose got 13 out of 20. So for Rose, we have 13 marks out of 20 as a fraction of 100. We multiply by 5. We multiply by 13 by 5. And we have 65 over 100, which is 65%. So you can see that Rose scored 1% more than. Pauline. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.